Lieutenant Colonel John Cargill has returned to the base where he was once the commanding officer. Bagenhuna Garrison in Lower Saxony has been a British military base in Germany since the end of World War II and will continue to be for a few more months. Cargill shows us where he once had his office. I remember exactly. It was the window, the top, top end, top uh, left hand end of the building there, yes. At the time of Germany's reunification, Cargill commanded 850 troops of the Scots Guards. It's a very nostalgic time. Um, the Scots Guards and before us the Welsh Guards spent many years in Bergen-Hohner and to see it now all empty and soon to be handed back to the German federal authorities is something which I don't think many of us expected that we would see in our lifetime. It is, it's, a, it's a strange feeling. <laughs> During the Cold War, the Iron Curtain between East and West Germany was the front line. The Scots Guards were responsible for security along one stretch of the border, until fall 1989 when it collapsed. Some here were very worried about what German reunification might bring. I wasn't. I, I, I welcomed it. Um, having spent most of my military career in Germany and having patrolled the inner German borders we did and having visited East Berlin and seen some of the less attractive elements of the, of, of the um, GDR, um, I, I welcomed the fact that unification was going to take place. At its peak, Bag and Hohne was home to some 5,000 British troops. Many lived in the barracks with their families. Now only a small number remain. Morning, Chief Staff. The morning report is a rather straightforward affair. After reunification, many Allied troops remained in Germany, helping with new assignments, such as the Gulf War in Afghanistan. Bagenhune continued to be an important Allied military base. Uh, and for many uh, of the soldiers uh, and their families, this would have been the first, per first place they were posted to and the only place they've served until they've gone back to UK. Now you will meet some people that I know have been here for 15, 20 years. That's all they've known. So Germany has been their life uh, more than the United Kingdom. Many of the British stationed here understood German politics better than the people back at home. Liaison officer Hugh Pearson shows us around the old officer's mess. The site of many a political debate. Margaret Thatcher, the British Prime Minister at the time, also came in for some criticism, especially for her initial opposition to German reunification. She was one politician with her own opinion, but I have no doubt that we as citizens knew that reunification had a future and that it would be a good future. There is a lot of history that's been written about w Margaret Thatcher's view and about the, fr the French president's view. Um, I'm not sure that really was very clear at the time. Um, and whether she was right, well, you can, you, you can argue. Germany has become a second home to John Cargill. He'd just as soon settle here for good, even after the British forces withdraw. Now he's just hoping his wife will agree.